as I understand it, like Marvel and DC, they started moving their production uh, back to North America for their stuff because, you know, they were saying, I guess, getting stuff printed in China and whatever, mm -hmm. but, you know, because of the delays and yeah. shipping expense. So, yeah, all this is kind of creating the perfect storm. So uh, you might want to grab what you can grab. Yeah, I said Bloomberg now. reported last month the skyrocketing price of shipping goods around the world is impacting everything from coffee to toys. On July 1st, the Drury World Container Index reported the average price for shipping a 40-foot container costs about $8,400, which is up 346% compared to this time last year. Maybe they should make more things in, in, in America. Uh, the shipping container from Shanghai to LA costs more than $9,100, and that's up 272% from last year. Okay, this, this explains yeah. a conversation I had recently with one of our suppliers about... Uh, you know, having stuff shipped and they were like, yeah, the shipping prices are through the freaking roof. Well, right here. It's interesting too. I said there right now is a waiting list for many Pokemon items. Oh, that's interesting. So it's going to be hit or miss this Christmas. If you're interested in Pokemon, uh, they're getting some emails and some companies saying that this would be a long problem going all the way to the fourth quarter, meaning through the holiday season. Melissa and Doug toys have cut back on their products and have with price increases. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, Wow, so the Pokemon stuff, and we, we did a video before talking about the price of, of Pokemon cards going through the roof. And the enamel paint, the testers enamel paint they use for model kits are mm. running way low on things. And they said, toys are also hard to find, including Lionel trains, model kits, briar Gundam. horses, little kids toy bubbles. The yeah, Gundam model kits. Um, so, you know, they said that Harry Potter themed Lego and Pokemon are in short supply as well. Uh, apparently in his toy store in Bloomberg. Hills or Bloomfield Hills. So that's, can't read. that's really interesting. Um, so yeah, what's going to happen then is the secondary market's going to blow up. Y you know, people, yes, pretty much. This is actually, gonna, this is going to cause more toy scalping because people are going to start hoarding stuff and they're going to be like, we're going to hoard it. And then come November, we're going to dump it all on eBay. Hope, well, it gets worse. That's not the biggest concern they have. It's finding workers to work in the store as well as not getting their supplies in. This is the problem all the way around. I mean, you know, again, going back to... In fact, today, the USA is facing a completely different, somewhat paradoxical problem. People are no longer struggling to find places to work. Workplaces are struggling to find people. Reports of massive labour shortages have compelled some of the nation's largest employers to offer potential recruits $50 just to show up for a job interview. Here in Australia, Uber is offering people a $500 bonus just to sign up as a driver and do 20 deliveries. What's with headlines have actually got a few economists pretty worried. To understand why, we need to as always look at a few things in detail. Having access to adequate credit, it has limited options. It can either one, raise taxes and cut spending a lot, or two, print a lot of money which lowers its currency's value. Those governments that have the option to print money always do so because that is the much less painful path, but it leads to investors to run out of money and debt that is being printed. Those governments that can't print money have to raise taxes and cut spending, which drive those with money to run out of the country, state, or other jurisdiction because paying more taxes and losing services is intolerable. If these entities that can't print money have large wealth gaps among their constituents, these moves typically lead to some form of civil war, slash revolution.